Dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, cinco, seis. Actually, there's only five. We got five steel books coming out today, and we're after three of them. As you can see there, there's two for the Maze Runner. I saw the previews for this. Previews don't do this movie justice. I have absolutely no desire to see this. It's right up there with that Insurgent series, you know? So both those steel books will get the each nay. So that leaves us with Ted 2. Fantastic Four, I don't care how bad they say it is, I'm down to see it. And then we got Mission Impossible 5. Is it 5? Yeah, I think it's 5. First Mission Impossible came out when I was about 6th grade, and I didn't watch the movie right away. I played the game on Nintendo 64, because uh, my friend, he didn't want to play GoldenEye, Mortal Kombat, nothing. He's like, I'm only on Mission Impossible now. Alright, man, whatever. Mission Impossible is a cool game, but once I watched the movies... They were all right to me. I liked 3, and I liked Ghost Protocol. Those two were my favorite. Finally got a break from the flooding here in Portland, so let's head on out and get some movies. Damn. Nothing in this rap book. Bringing it back, making it crack about my scratch like Alley Cat. All right, we're pulling up into Target. You only need one thing here. That's the Ted 2 Steel Book. I'm pretty sure they got it, so let's go inside. Okay, we're fresh out of Target. Currently on our way to the Beast. So, let's go pick those up. What to do with that? I take a second talk. If ain't no lesson learned, then it's a lesson taught. Everybody know I'm east side home. We got some other kids where they gon' be riding. Planes flying all around. I used to like to go to the airport when I was a kid. They had the best Wendy's. I don't know what it was about their Wendy's, but it was the best. And then after all the uh 9-11 stuff the airport's been locked down but we're about to head into the beast pick up these other steel books plot twist there was two separate Mission Impossible steel books one for the new movie one for the complete collection that hot lift driver was just digging in his fucking nose foul All right, just returned home from my trip. There was absolutely nothing at the Lloyd Center worth getting, so I passed on everything there. But I will show you what I did. First up from Target, we got Ted 2. This was fairly easy. Target never really runs out of steel books, unless it's like one of the DC animated steel books. And even then, sometimes they'll linger for like three or four weeks. But this one was fairly easy to pick up. I was a fan of the first movie. Uh, the sequel, I didn't see it in theaters, but I did like the characters. And I'm not really a big Seth MacFarlane fan. Is that his name? Yeah, Seth MacFarlane. I don't like Family Guy. I don't like Cleveland Show. It was... Anyways, I'm excited to check this out. I'll let you guys know what I thought about it. Then next up, went to Best Buy. I was worried about the Steelbook. Fantastic Four. Just slightly. Just slightly. Like I said, it's been getting a lot of shit reviews, so I wasn't too worried about it. It's, got, it's nice and embossed right here, I can feel. It's got all kinds of special features. This was supposed to be the start of a new Fantastic Four franchise. From the reviews, it sounds like they might not be doing that. They could be doing a deal with Marvel, where Marvel gets Galactus and Silver Surfer, which would be awesome, but... I prefer Fox to get their shit together and get their universes together. There's no need for Marvel to have everything. I think I'm like the only Marvel fan that would rather have separate brands. Because you get more movies that way. Or we wouldn't be getting Deadpool right now if it wasn't for Fox. So I, I hope Fox can get it together and put out some decent movies. I didn't think the last two movies were that bad. I did go back and rewatch them. They are kind of cheesy. But Silver Surfer from that series is actually one of my favorite portrayals of a comic book character. All right, last up, we were set out to find the Mission Impossible Rogue Nation Steelbook. And I did know that there was a Mission Impossible Complete Collection, and that was a digipack. But upon entering Best Buy, I saw the Mission Impossible Rogue Nation Steelbooks, 
as well as a jumbo steelbook with all of the Mission Impossibles. And I sat there and debated for about a good five to seven minutes. And I finally decided on the jumbo steelbook. I have like the first two or part one and part three on Metal Pack. But this one, I mean, look at this cover. This cover is way better than the cover of The Rogue Nation. I just couldn't turn it down. I don't even like jumbo steelbooks really that much. I have like two or three. They're huge. I can't put my bags on them. It's a little irritating, but this steelbook was just too sweet to pass up. So once I do check out Rogue Nation, I'll let you guys know my thoughts on it. We had quite a successful Blu-ray mission this week. Got everything we were looking for. I saw the other steel books, and even in person, it wasn't enough for me to break down and buy them. I will be giving out some of these digital copy codes in my next Q&A session, which will be up tomorrow. Whatever day this video is up, the Q&A will come up the next day. If you have any questions for me that you want to know, leave them down below today. I'll answer them tomorrow when I film that video. And also, I will be unboxing these soon. So be on the lookout for that video. And until then, stay true and stay blue. Make it home tonight. Make it home. I hope I'm